today we're going to give you a walk through the Ernie app, how to use it, how to make some adjustments to the parameters, how to select certain drills, uh, and basically the use of the Ernie app with the Ernie machine. So to run the Ernie app, simply touch it, it will automatically load up and look for the last Ernie you connected to. So it's finding the Ernie, making the connection. You'll hear Ernie beep, which means it got connected. And now we're in the app, connected to the machine, and we now have all the drills and the settings. By default, it's set to the first drill, which is the fixed point drill. And you can adjust any of these parameters, uh, including the height by up arrow, down arrow, or the right left by using the left or right arrow. You can adjust the frequency by which the balls come out of the machine by just moving the slider. We recommend generally around four uh, to start with, but it depends on the drill. A little further down is the speed. That's how fast the ball is thrown. Uh, it's in kilometers per hour. So the slowest speed is 20 and the highest speed all the way over is 140. Uh, and the last one is the spin. There are six levels of backspin and six levels of topspin. So I can slide that to the left. That'll give me backspin. Slide it to the right. Gives me topspin. And if I put it in the middle, uh, no spin at all. So it's basically a flat shot. So right now we're on the fixed point drill. There are three fixed points. And the way I scroll through them is simply by pressing fixed point again. It'll move it to the right to the second one. If I press it again, it'll move it to the third one and you'll hear Ernie move the yoke, the thing that throws the balls based on the selection you're making. If I go to the right, I now have uh, the cross drill. And this is a little different because it's throwing two different balls. So instead of having the up, down, right, left yoke control, you have on the top here, uh, low, medium, and high. So this is the height of the ball going over the net. By default, it's medium. You can certainly change it to high or low by simply touching on it. The same parameters down the bottom apply. So we have frequency, we have speed, and we have backspin and topspin. And if I want to scroll through all the cross drills, I simply keep touching cross until I get to the cross drill that I want. Same with horizontal, which is to the right of that. Horizontal will allow you to control the up-down, but not the right-left because there's seven shots along the baseline and Ernie figures out how to move the yoke to accommodate that. And again, if I select horizontal again, I'll get the two-line wide, two-line middle, two-line narrow, and then three-line. Go into vertical, similar thing, except in this case, because it's a higher shot, we can move the right-left and only adjust the height up here in the mode. So high, medium, and low. Again, same parameters applying can be adjusted to suit your drilling or training needs. Uh, going down, we have the volley. There's basically three different volleys, which you get to by touching the button multiple times, like all the others. To the right of that is the smash. There is only one smash. You might call it a lob or an overhead. Um, you can adjust both the up down so you can make it higher or lower. You can move it to the right or left so you can place this lob anywhere on the court. And again, you can adjust frequency, speed, and spin. Generally, putting a little top spin on that shot is a, a good way to train. Over here on the right, you'll see as I adjust the up down, the V angle will change. As I adjust the right left, the H angle will change. And that's just basically telling you where the yoke is pointing. You don't have to worry about the exact number. Just know that when you press the button, it's going to move it in this case to the right and in this case to the left. And you'll see those numbers adjust accordingly. The only reason you care about the numbers is if you wanted to recreate a drill later, you'd want to know exactly what the V angle and the H angle are or were set to be. Uh, if we go to the next one, this is the random drill. Not a lot you can do here in terms of right-left because it randomly figures out where in these 28 locations it's going to put the ball. You can determine, do I want it to be a low, a medium, or a high? Generally, it should be a higher shot. 
um, and then uh, you can adjust frequency, speed, and spin as with all the other drills. There is only one random drill, and then to the right is horizontal, or I'm sorry, program. Program mode is where you can pick the shots by simply selecting them, and they will come out in the sequence uh, that you selected. You can adjust then the same parameters, the frequency, the speed, the spin, and then when you're done, you can save the drill by simply clicking save, and then give it a name, whatever name you like. We'll just call it test, and then we'll confirm. And now we have a drill saved name test. If I had done this previously, and I come in and I want to select that drill that I've already saved, I simply touch select, and you'll see the drills that I have saved down here in the list. I pick test and it will reload those parameters uh, and start the drill just like it was saved. The last thing you can do is delete. So if you have a drill that you don't want to use anymore or was not set up the way you wanted and it's getting a little messy with all the drills, you can simply type touch delete, hit the drill you want to delete and now that drill is gone. There is no confirmation so be careful when you do that. Make sure you select the drill you actually want to delete. Um, and so, back to fixed, that's our first drill. Up at the top right, you'll see the battery indicator. That represents how much battery is left in the earning machine. And then to the left of that is the serial number for that earning machine, which when you fill out the warranty, that number is something you'll need, as many of you already know. And then down here is the version of the software. We do upgrade the software roughly every two months, so this number will change to represent whatever the current release of the software is. Hey, thanks for watching this Ernie video. If you like the videos that we're doing, obviously subscribe, like the video, that helps us. Uh, and you'll also get updated in terms of when we release new videos, uh, which we do several times a week. So uh, thanks for tuning in.